good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. James is making good use of the Dakotat. We have Monsters University on. I am in need of some TLC. Um, but it's another beautiful day today. And we are happy. Oi! I think that's comfy. <laughs> you know, we brought this out here so you would get used to it being out here with your brother. We didn't think you'd love it so much. Throwback picture to when you're sleeping in it as a little baby. He said he's going to lose it. Everywhere there's traffic, where we go, where we turn. No matter what time we leave. We leave an hour earlier than yesterday. We're probably going to get there at the same time. No! We figured out how we're going to we're gonna go. Um, we're going to take side streets and then still get on the highway and go. But it is nice to see all the people out and about. We usually show the other Chicago ballpark, so I thought we'd show off. What is this place called? <laughs> I'm just being a goober. It's uh, guaranteed break field. Sox Park. I have a memory of you and your dad picking up right there. Yeah? The USC basketball game. <laughs> really? Yeah. Were you wearing a um, sweatshirt and shorts, probably? <laughs> we gotta go to a Sox game this season. Not transfer into the Sicard's house without waking up. I tried laying down with him, but it is an utter ice box in this room. Wanna go play? <laughs> we got a good hour and a half in the car, I think. What are you doing? It's 90 degrees in Chicago suburbs. You just run up and down driveways, I guess. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I don't know, we should be driving, we, they have a battery powered Jeep that we should be charging up. It's a classic South Side night when you go to Pappy's and Evergreen. Before you go look at some EPGSL games. <laughs> Whoa! It is hotter on the South Side than it was up by our apartment. It's still like 90 degrees here. Um, but Peter just left to go pick up our food. We got Pappy's for dinner, which is just our neighborhood like hamburger hot dog it's like fast food but better um they were actually our softball team's sponsor like my dad was really close friends with the owner and yeah it's kind of worse we're here tonight for violet softball game so it kind of makes sense because honestly we would probably go to pappy's after almost every single softball game we had so we're gonna eat that and head to the field. <laughs> he thinks you're hilarious. Yum. Violet's first cheese dog, baby. Turn up, turn up. We got yeah, subs. Yeah. We actually have to eat kind of fast because we're like, got to work again. Just got a little chicken thing. Mmm. What do you got over here? Chicken kebab. It's a lot of the 
<laughs> that is funny. Oh no. <laughs> God. James, you did not laugh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what? Nobody enjoyed that. There you go, Joy. I think he might be waiting for you to get it. Oh, he covered his eyes. <laughs> little kid in nature, playing with some dandelions. I don't think James knows yet, but there's a high probability that he is skin is allergic to pretty much everything. So I'm willing to bet we will need a bath tonight. Yeah. What's better than a kid with a stick, huh? Let's go. It broke. I have two sticks. James has just discovered bugs on trees. Love it outside when it's this nice out. You were too little to enjoy this in Florida. Are you dizzy? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, don't pull that grass. You're gonna get paint on your fingers. Pretty cool. To be, so you could feel this like one of the classic Evergreen Park fields. And it's pretty cool to be here with our kids and nieces and nephews and family. Um, especially watching Christina's little one play softball, which is like a very Ryan girl thing of them growing up playing Evergreen Park girls softball. Their dad was super connected. That's why this field over here is named after him. The reason why there's lights up here to play games at night is because, pretty much because of Sarah's dad. Um, being the president and like advocating for that saying like if the boys field has it the girls should have that ability to have night games and went through the process of getting this field lit pretty cool right that's why the one corner is named the field is already called uh Eukage field so they didn't want to rename one of the diamonds so they re renamed one diamond ryan's corner after so there's that james ryan also person who this kid's named after Well, you got caught ripping the painted glass out? What's the rage for? <laughs> go, 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 go! Oh, James's first snow cone ever. Oh, you did. You did. So good. Do you feel like you had a good game? And Luca got one too. <laughs> a good little what? <laughs> We're pouring some Gatorade in our snow cones. She's got me a bottle pop, and these are definitely tinier than they used to be. Baby bottle pop. Is he gonna do it? Yes. This is how he watches TV with his hands. Holding, he holds his own hands behind his back. <laughs> he drinks cracker crumbs on the table. Sarah needs a sandwich. She needs to go to bed. She needs to put James down. She needs to do everything all at the same time. And then I just wanted to. Yeah. I don't want to do any of those tasks. Like, I need I to work half, in the kitchen. I left half of my sandwich in their fridge. That's the saddest thing ever. And I wasn't even hungry for it until I remembered that. And now you're hungry. And now I'm hungry. And I feel like we went grocery shopping and we haven't made a single thing home. Hey oh. Baby, you just scared me. I thought you were buck Ooh, squat. squat Major squat. Stomp it, stomp Ooh, it, stomp it. Oh. squat. Stomp it, stomp it, stomp it out. I really thought you was gonna fall asleep on the right? We need to do our duty. Are you giving me your, my rings back? Your rings back? Mm -hmm. Well. Alright, we've been home for a little bit. We were relaxing with James. I forgot where we last logged. But I've been working on the kitchen. I'm turning on the AC in our room because I love this apartment. It's so crazy that like Sarah and I have had like what five apartments in the in the seven years we've been married or whatever it's been. Um the last 
this this one, our very first one, which is not far from here. Um, this one and our last one in Florida were like some of our favorites for multiple different reasons. And I truly love, love, love this apartment. The thing that irks me the most about it is the central air or lack there of it. And not even air, but like heating. What's that called? Like when it's all centralized. I don't know. It's getting later. But like it's not as bad in the winter because the heat pretty just, just distributes pretty evenly. Um, except for the floor in our bedroom. Um, but we we have no air conditioning. We have two units, like no central air. We have two window units. We've got one in our bedroom, which makes our room cool if we turn it on at some point in the day and close the door and, and kind of like charge up the cold air in our room. And another one in our living room, which during the summer, it gets pretty good in there about keeping it cool or, or cool enough with some fans, but never makes it like cold in there. But the problem is we have like a long old apartment. So we have a long hallway and then our bathroom's like a long hallway and our kitchen and dining is at the end of that long hall. There's no AC units there. And that one unit in the living room like just does it just just does it for the living room. Where like I've tried setting up fans to like circulate air, but there's just like the one unit in our room and the one unit in the living room doesn't get to James's and Teddy's room, doesn't get to the kitchen. Um, I've been kind of know I've known for a while now that like we'll probably have to buy like a, a rolling unit that we used to have in our first apartment um, for James and Teddy's room because once it actually gets warmer, um, we'll need to be able to keep that room cool. Um, I feel like we were kind of like living in Florida for a month last summer, um, working through going through everything with Sarah's mom and then cleaning up the house and everything. And then we were in Disney, so like I feel like we were not home a lot of last summer to deal with the thick of the heat of Chicago because it's only like two and a half, three months. Um, but with the new baby and everything and being home a lot this summer, we'll probably have to get that unit. Um, I don't know what else. I want to tell you guys a little about something that we got confirmation on, but I know we, we hate to do this, and we and I don't even know, Sarah, you might not even keep this in the edit, but because we like to, we don't like to like linger things over you. We, we should know in the next like two days, 100%. Well, I got 100% confirmation today that we get to be ambassadors for a running show coming up in Chicago in June. And there's some really cool speakers and we'll get to, we'll have a lot more information on like, we'll have a link to get free tickets. It's two days, I think in Rosemont here in Chicago, but it's a running expo with speakers and uh, vendors will be there. I think ACS is even gonna be there having a, a, an, an expo tent um, so what I don't know, so I am an ambassador. Sarah and I are ambassadors for this event. Um, we'll figure out, I'll find out the details very shortly here because I have to like send them a headshot in like a bio for them to add us to their website and then they're going to send us like more details on how to share it and, and get you guys the, the link for the free tickets. But, um, so that's super exciting. That was kind of unexpected. Um, but we heard about that, actually it was last night email them back right away. They got back this morning saying, yeah, you're good to go. Just give us this kind of information and then our, our person will reach out to you about the info. Um, actually, we were going for free anyway because we got tickets through being a Shamrock Shuffle runner. So it's like not as, I think it's like a $12 ticket, but a hey, free ticket is free ticket. And there's some really cool speakers going. Um, but we'll get, I'll get, I'll get the fine print about all that later. Um, I need to go finish the dishes. We kind of like, Sarah's an early appointment tomorrow, and I'm, I'm rambling, guys. This is a Peter Ramble, which you I don't think you've experienced in a while. Um, Sarah's got a really early appointment tomorrow at the dock. Um, we're kind of in like, nearing the red zone of like, high alert. So I want to get our apartment in a position that our friend who most likely, we have, got, we have a couple different scenarios of what to do with James while we are in the hospital with Sarah to give birth to Teddy. Um, but the most probable one is our friend coming to stay here um, for a few days with James. And so we're just want to make sure that like at a moment's notice that we are like within an hour's worth of work of like tidying up, packing our toiletry, tidying up the kitchen a little bit, tidying up our bedroom or whatever. Um, and this morning our apartment wasn't in that state. So I'm working on the kitchen stuff tonight do more kitchen stuff, stuff, kitchen stuff tomorrow. Um, Sarah's been doing laundry all day, just to kind of make sure we have fresh sheets to toss on the beds. Um, 
so that like hey if we have to go and it's like oh drop our bags and drop everything we're doing call my work and say I'm done that we can get our apartment pretty much set in less than 60 minutes for us to be gone for a couple of days and have visitors staying in here thus concludes Peter Ramble's 2022 pre Teddy Express Adventure Ultra Wednesday May 11th by quote by David Sedaris I haven't got the slightest idea of how to change people but still I keep a long list of prospective candidates just in case I should ever figure it out it's kind of a funny one all right I'm not even going to tell you how late it is Sarah fell asleep putting James down but then she came out and fell asleep again in the living room um I actually just sent over kind of talking about that running expo they asked for like a photo and a bio so I sent that over to them so hopefully they'll get back to me with all the details tomorrow yeah it's way later than I suspected so I'm gonna get myself ready for bed Sarah's gonna get up so early she's gotten up from an at 7 a.m. which means just to leave like at 6 35 6 40 a.m. to get over to our doctor's office in Evanston uh, but it's Thursday already this might be the last full week I work for a very long time. Or it could also not be. I don't know. So, like, the doctors will let Sarah go as long as she stays, like, feeling normal, feeling stable until the 25th. Until she's uh, basically one week after her due date. Um, but she'll learn more tomorrow morning when she talks to her midwives. But it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.